I don't know if you guys know this, but Red Wolf has been providing a menagerie of different airsoft guns to customers all over the world for quite some time. And in that time, we've done spring guns, electric guns, HPA stuff, and gas-powered guns. And today, we're gonna delve into a very popular platform and topic, the gas-powered. More specifically, with my scientific glasses on, we're gonna science today and talk about green gas. Typically, the term green gas refers to a greenhouse gas, or you can call it a biomethane or biogas. This usually refers to water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and ozone. However, in airsoft, the chemical composition for airsoft green gas is actually quite different. The green gas that we use in airsoft is actually more chemically akin to what we see in propane. With this knowledge, green gas powered airsoft guns operate by the valve controlled release of pre-filled compressed air such as propane, mixed with silicone oil, main components of airsoft green gas. In some places, you can actually purchase a large can of propane from a camping store and an external adapter to fill a green gas airsoft gun. However, standard camping propane doesn't come pre-mixed with silicone oil. So if you choose to use propane gas tanks instead of airsoft green gas, you will need to occasionally add some extra lubricant here or there. The moment you hear the word, propane, I know the first question that comes to mind is, well, is it safe? The main component inside airsoft green gas, yes, is a propane gas. And in its gas or gaseous form, it is non-toxic, but flammable. Though the gas itself is not toxic, when inhaled in a large amount, it could cause the victim to suffocate. That is due to propane is a heavier gas than oxygen it's harder to get rid of from one's lungs. However, you're gonna have to inhale a lot of propane for you to suffocate. Hence, you know, you don't have to worry about suffocation while using green gas if you operate your airsoft pistol or your rifle. Since green gas is pressurized air, there are some safety precautions that you would like to take when storing these things. Though it is extremely unlikely that these things are just gonna spontaneously explode on you, you should make it a good habit to not store these things in, well, direct sunlight or in a, a room that occasionally gets really hot. So if you thought about putting this in a sauna, it may not be the best idea. So cool dark corner. As I talked about earlier, because of the propane, yes, well, it's flammable. And in no situation or any circumstance should you bring this near an open flame or toss it near an open flame or play with fire next to one of these things. Not the brightest of ideas, but just to put your minds at ease, if you didn't know, a lot of your household items like hairspray or even deodorant are also highly flammable and they don't spontaneously combust. So don't worry, they're just as safe is what you have at home. Just exercise some common sense. Don't play with fire next to your green gas. Green gas operated airsoft guns are probably the most realistic platform you can get right now on the market. For the airsoft gun to shoot properly, the user must manipulate it like a real firearm. Because of how realistic the system is, well, some law enforcement and military agencies will purchase these airsoft guns to use them well as a training tool. How a gas blowback airsoft rifle works is you would have your green gas or top gas, which is the same thing, stored in a magazine, which contains a gas reservoir, and you would insert it into your gun. And upon each trigger pull, an amount of gas will be injected into your rifle, sending the projectile, in which case is your BB, straight out the barrel. Check out the diagram right here. What happened after you pull the trigger, as I previously mentioned, there's this part called the knocker that will knock on the gas reservoir in your magazine to release the projectile, making a glorious sound and tons of fun. As realistic as GBB platforms are, they do have an Achilles heel and they are not entirely suitable for places that are very cold. And that's because when you shoot fast, there's a cool down effect causing you to lose FPS and dip in consistency. So what I'm trying to say is, for those of you who may not know what green gas is, or just maybe got it confused with other things, or maybe even thought, 
green gas and propane are different. I hope this small educational video was helpful to you to now clear things up. Especially for the parents that may be watching, don't worry about this green gas stuff. It's nothing scary unless you, you know, intentionally light it on fire, which you shouldn't in the first place. But now you know that green gas as itself is no more dangerous than, well, hairspray. Rebel Fairsoft has been around for a while. And during this time, we've got a lot of questions, which is trying new platforms or what would be the better platform? And we feel like information sharing and education should be a part of what we do as content creators. So we hope this episode was educational to you. If you had a friend who would like to learn about green gas, we highly recommend that you share this video to them. You know, sometimes it's just the more we know, even though we may feel like we already know the subject matter in which I'm trying to cover. So guys, if you thought this video was interesting or cool or good, give us a like. I'm pretty sure there are some friends out there that may need some knowledge like this. So share it with them. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time we upload a new video. For all of the cool guns that you've seen in this video, don't forget to go to our online store at www.railfairsoft.com. More cool stuff coming. Hopefully we can do more educational videos like this and I'll catch you on the next episode of Red Bull TV. Have a good one, guys.